<laughs> hey, this is Pascal, and we want to quickly run you through the prereqs for the solar immersion. So, for any solar immersion worldwide, these are the things that you should be comfortable in, or at least you should work on them. Starting with push ups. So we have two types of push-ups. We have the knee push-ups that Julia is gonna do and we have the plank push-ups. The action for both is the same. It is straightening and bending the arms. So they're gonna do five each. And both try to remain in that straight line starting from the ground. For Christian, the feet are connected and the hands. For Julia, it's the hands and the knees. Both of them are squeezing in to the midline and they take a break. <laughs> From here, they're gonna switch to the back. So after push-ups, which train your arm line, especially for L basing, now we wanna work on connecting the midline, squeezing your whole body. Two different variations. Christian is gonna do hollow body rocks, holding that hollow shape, while Julia does a dynamic version of the ups. <laughs> For both of them, feet are squeezing in and static version, rocking back and forth, scooping off the tailbone, dynamic version is moving from a hollow to a pipe. So that was for the core, you guys feel it? We're gonna move on and Julia is gonna do a tripod headstand. Foundation for a tripod headstand is the hands shoulder distance apart, forming that triangular shape with the head, the flat part on the floor, and then she straddles up into a straight position. Notice that she keeps squeezing her elbows in together. This will be a support for your star position. Spotting this one, knees together, hand on the hips, and coming down. Perfect. Well done. From here, we switch roles and you should be comfortable in a handstand. You don't have to hold it by yourself. So you see Julia spotting on the hips, helping up. And Christian is holding and trying to aim for that straight line all the way from the hand to the shoulder to the hips to the ankles. Five to ten seconds comfortable in your handstand and then you come down. From here we continue with the flying so what should you be comfortable flying in and what you should work on is for sure a throne. Throne because it teaches you all the basic um, steps and actions for the base, which is starting in that deep hip flexion and then moving to four points of contact. So you have the connection from the butt to the feet and we call this a reverse foot to hand grip and then you can do presses. Moving from straight to presses, just come to straight for a second. Notice that it's one line from the shoulder all the way to the hip so for some of you that might be a deep stretch in the hamstrings, so you can always bend your knees. Feel free to keep your flyer on top of your hip, but with the knees bent, arms are straight, knees are bent, flyer in that um, straight position. Coming down towards the head, playing with front plank. Another foundation pose that we play with. Feet are parallel on the hip bone. The hands now are in a reverse hand-to-hand -hand grip. And we're looking for those straight lines from the hip to the hip and from the shoulder to the shoulder. If static feels great, go ahead and bend and extend. So notice that Julia is keeping her arms straight while Christian is bending legs and arms at the same time. Come straight again. 
If in doubt, always use the spotter. The spotter will be on the side in a goddess position, hands underneath the flyer moving with them. So if they bend, I'm gonna bend. If they straighten, I straighten. Another option to play here is to add twist. We call these swivels. So you can go from side to side with hands connected or free. So Julia comes into what we call a front bird. She keeps the chest open, looks forward, Christian keeps the hands up and you can also bend and do presses in that front bird. Bending and extending or combining both. B bending and swiveling, spot again, would be on the side, moving like a ninja with them without interfering with their movement. All right, let's come down. We're gonna switch that whole thing into a back plank. So, Julia is coming from the feet. So the feet are just on the belt line, big toes touch the belt line, feet are parallel. And then the action of the base is bending and scooping from the heel. Spotter can again be on the side, similar spotting position. The hands of the base are up the whole time for safety. Their option to play, either hold it here or you do presses. So you bend and you extend. You bend, touch the shoulders and you extend. The flyer holds the shape and engages, squeezing everything to the midline. The base has the chance to adjust by flexing or pointing the feet. You do five of them and, and you well come done. out. <laughs> well done. From here, we come to the head side and we play with star. Another pose that allows you to transition into many washing machines, into hand-to-hands and other fun things that we play with in a solar immersion. Straight lines, hip, shoulder, all the way to the hips and um, the ankles of Julia. Notice that the tripod position that we practice on the floor shows up here again. So you see that straight line from the elbow all the way to the shoulder. Start. Little tip to come in. Can you guys come out for a second? Main action of the base is being patient. So when you place the shoulder as a flyer on the feet, notice how deep Christian is bending in the hip. And when Julia jumps up, he waits. Her hip is on top of the feet and then Christian is extending the legs and they find it here. Little tip that goes a long way will support you in your practice. Thank you guys. From here, moving on into some hand balancing. We will work in solar immersions a lot with hand balancing, finding our way towards hand to hand. A great preparation is a foot to hand. Foot to hand grip, if you come close, notice that Christian is using both of his fingers, the peace fingers, on the heel. This will support you in your hand-to-hand -hand practice. It's one line from the elbow all the way up to the hip of your flyer. 45 degree angle here. What the flyer does is holding that shape just like in a back plank, but we turned it 45 degree. All right, coming down, same way, support, and you can step forward or you can step back. Last thing that we want to play with and that we invite you to practice before you come um, to a solar immersion and we'll fine-tune it there, but play with a tuxet. A tuxet means you have a hand-to-hand -hand grip. Again, it's two peace fingers on the forearm. The rest wraps around the hand, creating that nice shape. Notice the 45-degree angle. Too flat would be 90 degree. And you see that the power lines are not meeting. There's no connection. If they find that 45 degree angle, again, it's shoulder to shoulder. Flyer looks forward, arms are straight. Both of them are squeezing in. If you need a spotter, spotter is on the side, ready to catch at any moment. All right. Straight arms will help you here a lot.
Well done! <laughs> so I hope these little tips help you and get you excited about the solar immersion. Make sure you use the spotter if in doubt and then put the work in and enjoy the practice. Thank you! Ah! <laughs>